Okay guys, let's talk Ethereum. In this video, we're gonna be jumping down into the world of Ethereum paired up with USDT on the hourly chart and Binance is the data source. There's a lot of things to talk about here, um, specifically with the price action and what I would expect to happen next based on the current structures. Now, as I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you are going to be kept up to date with every everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And of course, you know, um, if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, check out the link in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 seven. It's completely free. And I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So why not go ahead and check that out today? And, um, you know, whilst you're in the description down below, you will find two additional links, one to the Patreon services, that's your bag. And the second one for another three service that we've just launched, which is the Cheeky Podcast, a fantastic way of staying up to date with everything crypto on your daily commute to the office. Why not check those out as well? Okay, guys, let's waste no more time, right? So as I said, this is Bitcoin paired up with USDT, and uh, you know we have actually seen a pretty volatile market so far, um, and a little bit of an unexpected move yesterday, but we were able to take advantage of it just here. Um, so we saw this kind of um, drop to the downside, where we were kind of expecting a five-wave drop, but it actually you know, it's possible that it is. Um, and then obviously ran up here quite sharply. So again, this looks like um, a pretty decent move. Now for our Patreon members within the trading area, we kind of took advantage of this uh, using the Bollinger Band technique and, and things like that. Um, so looking pretty good from that perspective, but obviously does look like we need to come back down quite a bit. Um, so it does maybe look like we've actually finished wave two. It could obviously be that we haven't finished this yet, but for now, you know, there's a few things that are quite key. So um, let's draw these out. Let me remove some of these lines that we no longer need and we'll kind of confirm this move, right? Okay, so we have two dashed lines now, right? Um, 1,174.9. If we go up higher than that, then we're still in wave two and we haven't finished that move just yet, okay? Um, so that's where that is, okay? Um, if we're coming on down, 998, that level still hasn't changed. Anything lower than that confirms that we're no longer in wave two, uh, although we should be able to confirm that much earlier. Now, essentially, what we're looking at here is a five wave drop it's a really small one but it's basically from the top of this wave c to this low point just down here now with this if i'd grab hold of my five wave structure it's really tiny it doesn't it's it's not necessarily the easiest thing to see but you can kind of see it right in here a little bit um and basically it's a five wave drop then we move on up here um and it's not very clear but you you know it looks like a straight line effectively and then a pull back down now the reason that i say that this could not necessarily you know, this could be um, wave two still ongoing and isn't finished yet is we could look at this as the start of a move upwards and we could kind of finish it here but meaning that this entire structural move here becomes something a bit more maybe something like a, a wxyxz for example just pushing up higher within our wave two correction all of it is corrective uh, we have a lot of overlap so there's nothing more that going on there than that um, and you know for the most part i think if we can stay above this uh, sorry stay below this level at 1170 uh, then essentially we could be looking at a structure that's starting our move to the downside one two possibly three coming down here going down lower and 998 confirming our move and then basically coming into our uh, move to the downside okay now with that it would be a little bit shorter than expected so i'm expecting wave three to be very very volatile very very sharp decreases um, because ideally we want to get this nice and low and i think somewhere down here is the most probable um, so what we do to measure that out is we really want to take a stock of this move um, over here this wave one so if i grab this move for wave one uh, transpose this over to our current high we can see that our way three should come somewhere down here um, meaning that we've kind of got, got to have an overextended way three or an overextended way five um, just to be able to kind of pull this one off so uh, it'll be interesting to kind of see how that plays out but you know a downward price action is highly likely um, if we haven't finished wave two then we go up higher than 1174.9 uh, which we still have the possibility to do so i think we've got the momentum on the hourly and the four hourly to allow for that um, but there isn't too much more above and beyond that take a look at the eight hour stochastic or the daily stochastic they are not telling us that we've got much room to the upside um, if anything we just got room to the downside um, so from the momentum indicator there's a small amount of push to the upside to be had here so if we were to go up higher then that means that wave two is not finished and we'd want to make sure that wave two does not cross 
$1,280. Uh, the higher that wave two goes, uh, essentially the higher our wave um, three should be, okay? Uh, so those two things are relating to each other. Um, so yeah, we've got a couple of things to kind of watch out for here with Ethereum, um, specifically with uh, with this area right now. We want to see this drop down. We want it to come down quite well. We want to see this hit 1.618 in an ideal world, which would approximately be about $785 at the moment. Um, so that would be where we would kind of estimate this next kind of des descent to kind of take us down to. Um, but we are watching these key areas to see whether or not we are um, finished with wave two or whether or not wave two um, has already completed and we are ready to pull back down okay and obviously our upper end here of things that cannot be um, or should not uh, be invalidated is 1280 now if we do move up higher than there then essentially all of this is um, is, is, is incorrect right and our our uh, move here upwards hasn't finished and in which case you know a few weeks ago we were talking about 1445 um essentially this move here being mapped out so um if i grab hold of this one uh here to here come on yeah that's it um and then just move it here you can see for 1449 so actually it's a little bit higher and um, essentially that would be a bigger move to the upside that has to happen before we descend to the downside um, and the higher that this move goes the um effectively the lower our, our actual end targets will become so you know that can only be in uh disproven when we drop down lower than 881 so there's quite a few things going on here with ethereum and i don't want to confuse anyone um i just want to kind of highlight that there's multiple different ways that this can play out and what we're trying to do here is um is basically show us what the most probable scenarios are so when i take a look at the stochastic i can see a slight push up higher here if we throw the volumes in you can see the volumes are decreasing okay so if i just take this motion to the upside here you can see the volumes were decreasing during this little moment here basically meaning that you haven't got too much uh, or too many people willing to actually buy at these prices and more if anything you know we're running out of steam um, and the same thing right now this little push up here you can see the volume is really decreasing okay so essentially i'm not expecting us to push up higher than 1170 um, i'm expecting us to come back up into this overbought area very quickly and essentially then start to see a big drop to the downside and uh, that would be my kind of expectations with this i'm not expecting to move on up i'm expecting us to continue with our five wave move to the downside essentially okay um and i think that's pretty consistent across many altcoins etc now on the four hourly you can see that we've got to move this back up again we throw the volumes in here again you can kind of see the volume decreasing um as the price was pushing up running out of steam um so we're looking for an increase in that selling pressure now and um, to basically take us down into an oversold area alternatively we can just kind of hover around here and try to move that stochastic rsi up um but i'm not overly optimistic on that the four hourly one is the one that throws the concern out there about pushing up higher and um, but from an eight hour perspective we've got plenty of room to go down and on the daily we're back up in the overbought area so again we can come crashing back out of here very very quickly um so none of that is really overly too concerning um but essentially we are are waiting for confirmation right we're waiting to either see ourselves move back down in a really strong significant way because this could be little wave one little wave two big wave three four and five for example something to this effect um and you know we're waiting to kind of see how this plays out we want to go down lower than 998 to confirm that we are done with this little wave two here um and then obviously move on down uh, lower than 881 to confirm that we are done with any motion to the upside until we get to the bottom of wave three where we'll then look for a wave four now if uh, this is wave two um it's actually reasonably simple but we might see this being more complex so we'll have to watch out for that as well um but for the most part um, Ethereum is doing okay. Um, you know, for the we are we are tracking reasonably well here. Um, uh, but my expectation at this point is there's limited upside, um, but more room to the downside. The trend is to the downside. So if anyone was to start thinking about going long on the market or buying assets and selling them at a higher price, um, I don't think now is the right time for that. I think that 
essentially there's higher risk for long positions than there are short positions and um, but that's just my opinion do remember that i'm not a financial advisor i cannot offer you financial advice all i can give you is my thoughts and opinions on the data in the charts as i see it uh, essentially you should always do your own research and you should consult your own financial advisor if you have one guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one